Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video how you can enable hidden private space at the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. And that means if you have something uh, separated from your main space, uh, may some business stuff or some very private stuff, you can put it in an own folder, in an own hidden folder, named secure folder. Um, so you have an own camera here and all the pictures you're taking in that folder stays in that folder only in that gallery here um, or all the website you're surfing um, here in the browser uh, just stays in the browser history only visible here at a secure folder also with other files and also other apps let me show you a bit more about Okay, but first of all you need to enable this feature for that just scroll down here tap on the symbol for the settings then you need to scroll down to the point security and privacy and if you scroll down here a bit you will find now the point secure folder just tap on it then you need to start to go and continue and now you have to enter your samsung account in case you haven't done it before um, and in case if you don't have a samsung login then you can create a new account and you can use your google email address for that okay just go and continue after and the phone is creating now the secure folder. This takes a few, yeah, one or two minutes. Huh? And this is the reason why I will forward the video right now. Okay, the next step is to create a lock for the secure folder. We can choose between a pin, a password or a pattern. I prefer the pin. Uh, yeah, let's take a simple one here at me, four times the nine. Please take a better one. And I recommend to you also to tap here because uh, whenever you type in now this uh, code, uh, you don't have to confirm always extra on okay. Okay, just go and continue. Okay, he was telling me now, okay, the code is not the best, but I will use it anyway. Now confirm the code. And as yours, huh? okay. So now the phone is giving you uh, also the chance uh, with the Samsung account in case you forget this code that you can have all your data back. Just go and activate because it's good. And it can add also your fingerprints to have a quicker access. Okay, just go on next then. And we are now in the secure folder. The, sec the secure folder contains our uh, own content. And with its own camera here, um, all the pictures we are taking now here with this camera are just visible here in the gallery of the secure folder, not in the main gallery. No? And all the contacts you are having here in the secure folder are only for the secure folder. No? Same with calendar address or other files like PDF files and so on. And you can add also other um, uh, apps here, may like uh, the Chrome browser, no? uh, and that means all the websites you're surfing on, they are not available in the main browser history. They are only visible here in the own browser history of the secure folder. So pretty, pretty nice. And if you want, you can add also some other apps here. You can download some from the Play Store uh, or from the Galaxy Store or whatever you want. Then just enter your, your, your Google email address. It could be also another one than from the main one. And then you can download apps which one are only visible here in this secure folder. Okay, let me show you now how you can go to the secure folder. Huh? So pretty easy. At the app drawer, you have an own file for your secure folder, an own app. Just tap on it and you're in a secure folder. But hold on, there's no lock. Yes, by default, the lock is only if you go on standby. Huh? So if you turn off the screen and come back, only then, well, that's my main code here from the phone, but only then I have to enter now my four times the nine code to have access here to the secure folder. Uh, in case if you say, okay, oh, it's not that secure for me, I want to have a better one, just tap you on the three points, go on the settings, and tap now on auto lock secure folder. And actually, if it, it is when we turn off the screen, but uh, you can choose also a special time, maybe after five minutes, 10 or 30, um, or if you say you want it really, secure then choose the first one now each time if you're leaving an app uh, the secure folder will be locked huh? in case you want to use it for your business or you don't like that it's uh, always uh, locked and so on you can choose the last point you know when the phone restarts that means if you're in a whole session and if you don't off turn off your phone your um, 
you don't have to uh, enter always this uh, lock pin, but um, only if you restart the form, <laughs> of course. Okay, let me show you in the next step uh, how you can transfer data here from the main storage to the secure folder. And in case you have already sensible data on the main storage, so then just go on three points and go to add files. And now you can choose between images, uh, videos, audio documents, or other files. Uh, with images maybe here, we are now in the main gallery. And if we say, okay, my friend uh, doesn't belong here to the main gallery, I want to have it in the secure folder, then just mark them here and go here on done. And now you can choose if you want to copy it, so for the safety, so have it only for the safety, or if you want to move them completely, that they're invisible in the main storage, um, just go on move. And now they are only visible here in this gallery, not anymore in the main gallery. Um, if you're in the main gallery and you want to transfer pictures from here, no? so just from the main gallery here, just long press one of these pictures, mark the other ones you want to transfer, go on more, and go and move to secure folder. It is also a way to transfer the pictures. Um, so pretty nice. And let's have a look now in our secure folder in the gallery. Yeah, are uh, the screws or oh, the screw. screw. <laughs> and yeah, pretty nice. Okay, let's make now the secure folder a bit more secure because uh, there are also many people who knows about the secure folder and they see that symbol and think, okay, I just gotta have sensible data on his phone but you can change the app icon and also the name secure folder. Let me show you how you can do that. For that also enter the secure folder, tap on the three points here, and now you can customize it. First of all, you can give a complete different name. Maybe let's take now the word new folder, huh? and you can choose also a different color. Maybe let's choose red, and now we can choose also a different symbol, maybe the star here. Uh, go and apply and now if I'm having a look here now I have a star here named new folder so I can't really know if it's the uh, secure folder that uh, looks uh, pretty yeah innocent uh, so a nice way yeah for whatever you will need this secure folder for uh, you can do a lot with and yeah I hope I could help you with this video and answer questions and yeah maybe if you want you can leave a nice comment or give me some thumbs up that would be very helpful for my videos uh, thank you so so much for and I've created also some other videos if you're interested in it. some more tips and tricks and so on or you can also subscribe me if you haven't done it before thank you so so much for your support and yeah maybe at the next time <laughs> ciao